Hi everyone, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I thought it might be fun to do a try-on haul. I have a couple of things from Ulta and Sephora, and yeah, so I thought, and a couple, yeah, a couple things from Ulta and Sephora. I did get one thing from TJ Maxx that I'll share with you, just because it goes in with um, one of my part of my Ulta haul. But I figured instead of showing you one by one in categories, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it all on my face. So. In the interest of time, I've already prepped my eyes, so I put down my base for my eyes. So I'm going to go in with a Natasha Denona Mini Star Palette. Um, I was at Sephora the other day, and I saw the Mini Nude Palette, and did I pick it up? Nope, talked myself out of it, and then when I went to go pick it up at our local JC, uh, Sephora inside JCPenney's, they didn't have it. But So instead, I picked up the Mini Star. I have been playing with it already. This isn't really a first impressions on some of these items and then some of them are going to be first impressions but this I've already been playing with and I really like the looks that I came out with it um, so we're going to go ahead and play with this today. So I'm going to go in with this color here which is the lighter brown and I'm going to put that as my transition color. I really love the way that these blend out they're really nice nicely pigmented and they blend out nicely. I know that Natasha Denona, a lot of people say that the that the small $25 ones aren't as good a quality. I have, the only other Natasha Denona I have, I, I'm never going to be able to afford one of those $100 palettes, <laughs> but I have the $48 palette. So I have number two in the five pan palette. I love that this thing, this thing is awesome. Just to kind of give you a comparison. Yeah. One of these eyeshadows is 0.08 ounces, one of them, and this whole palette, I believe, is 0. Point, yeah, this whole palette is 0. 0.8 ounces. So, kind of give you a comparison there. And if you're interested, the, the individual eyeshadows are 0. 0.028. So. so, then next we're going to take this dark brown color. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that in the crease and then I'm going to put it all over the lid too. I know that sounds a little weird, but just work with me here, people. Work with me. <laughs> like I said, I've already, I've already played with this. So I've already done one look with it that I thought was kind of the obvious look. And I've done the look, one of the looks where I was like, oh, I use all five of the colors and I really liked that. Though I have to say I'm not impressed at all by this color here. It looks like it's beautiful, but I'm not impressed by it. But today, what I'm going to do with it, in the interest of trying to still use all five colors, but do something a little bit different. I know I said I'm going to put it all over the lid. I am. I'm just going to work on this eye first. I'm going to do something different with it um, today because I've already used it under the lash line. So I'm going to use it in a different way today. So we're going to see how that works. If I like it. Because I do know that I love all of the shades. I'm just not really impressed with this duo chrome down here. So now I'm going to take my, my same brush, that E25, and I'm just going to pack that all over the lid. That dark brown color. Alright, so now I look kind of crazy. It's alright. <laughs> you know me. It's okay, I just roll with it. I just roll with it. Then I just go over it with my blending brushes again. Make sure it's all blended together. Also drop my brushes. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that dual chrome color just because I do kinda wanna use all five colors in this tutorial just in a different way than I did it before. I'm gonna use that color and I'm gonna pat it over top that brown. with, And I'm gonna use my finger. Cause this, like I said, I'm not really impressed by this shadow. It doesn't really pick up very well with a brush. Here, this is what it looks like on my finger. In fact, I'll swatch it for you. It's a duochrome, so it looks like blue in the pan and then you put it on, it's got like a reddish brown shift. So. so I'm going to go ahead and tap this all over the lid and hope for the best. Here we go. So 
So this is what it looks like with the that dual chrome tapped on top. This is what it looks like without it. So just give you an idea. I like it. I think it's really pretty. It brought a dimension, another dimension, another dimension. Like we're in the twilight zone. Another. <laughs> it added another dimension. I don't know what other, what other words to use. <laughs> Okay, so now that we got that color all over, I'm going to just go back in with my E25 and back into the darker brown and just kind of, I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm just going to go ahead and run it through the edges because oh, having had an eyes, I got a little bit of the, the shimmery shade in my crease and I would just want to keep it dark up there. So I'm going to go into my Emily Edit and go into Love because this doesn't have like a white or skin colored because it doesn't have a white highlighting shade it does have the one in the middle but like I said I'm not I'm not here for that on my brow bone right now I'm gonna use that color but I'm gonna use it in the inner corners and a little bit like in the corner under the eye okay so for right now that's the eyes um we're, we're obviously going to come back to it we always do we always come back to it to finish it up if you ever watched a video of mine and so we're going to move on to the rest of our face um i did have something random i did want to show you when i made my sephora i had to make an order on sephora and i got shishado cotton pads last time i bought these they were nine bucks this time they were 12. the heck sh shishado um best cotton pads ever like ever i usually get them during the sale and maybe that's why i think they're nine bucks i don't know but i love those things so yeah i don't know how long i can rave about cotton pads but they're good, they're good. so when i went to tj maxx yesterday i got some rose hip rose hip and vitamin c pearlescence it is is the brand so i'm gonna go ahead and just use this first I've heard that rosehip oil is really good for like fading scars and just giving your complexion an overall brightness to it. Um, this is only going to be my second time using it and it's an oil. It feels like an oil. You just want to make sure your face is nice and moisturized. I have all these little bumps on my forehead. They're driving me nuts. Probably because I keep putting different foundations on. <laughs> my skin's like... No, we we stick with one thing. What's wrong with you? It does kind of smell like rose, not like overly strong. I wanted to go ahead and get the one that I think it's from The Ordinary, but it's always sold out because the Taylor, Taylor from the, the Taylor, is always raving about it, so it's always sold out. So, yeah, instead I got this one. It's okay. It Hopefully it works exactly the same. It's... It's the same thing, right? Rose hip oil, vitamin C can can only help. So as we're letting that sink in, I'm gonna show something. I, I fell into the hype. I fell into the hype, guys. I got, because it came in a mini, um, which I heard is actually not as good a deal per ounce as the big one, but I just can't, I can't ring myself to buy the big one. But when I saw that they made a mini Tatcha's the silk skin canvas I had to do it I had to do it I have to know what all this hype is about I have to I've been trying to find the elf one and I had it I'm trying to open this I had it the other day in my hand at you, you're gonna see a theme I had it the other day in my hand at Walmart and for some reason I didn't pick it up I put it back I was like oh, I don't need this I don't even have the Tatcha one to compare it to well, now that I do, I'm like, why didn't I buy the e.l.f. one? So this is the beautiful packaging. It's got a lavender lid. Well, it's got a white lid with lavender around it. And it's in a little pot. And I know people, <clears throat> I know people freak out about pots. I don't, as long as I'm using it just on me, I don't mind. But this is what the actual product looks like. Ooh, it feels so good. Apparently you don't need a lot of this, and I don't know if you're supposed to dig your fingers into it or what, but I'm just gonna... 
And from what I understand, it's like poor feeling. Because again, I don't believe that, I don't believe that primers really like prolong the wear of your makeup. But I do believe they give you a nice silky like base to work with. I do believe they give you a nice silky base to work with and that they can make your pores look like they're filled in. Oh, it feels nice. I don't know if it's a mixture of this and the rosehip oil. It's just this. If it's just the rosehip oil. My face feels really, really nice. Alright. So I'm going to come back in a little bit. So I'm going to come back in about a month and update you on some of these products. Like I said, I kind of have some feelings on the eyeshadow palette already, but I'll give my final verdict in about a month and then I'll let you, I'll continue to use this and let you know what I think about that as well. So I'm kind of cheating because I got samples in my last Sephora order that I'm going to use today because why not? I got a deluxe sample of the, ooh, I'm going to mess this up. I got a deluxe sample of the Lancome Tint Idol, we're, we're going to say it, what I think it's English, uh, Tint Idol Ultra Wear. This is what it says in French. I don't speak French. And I got it in an Ivory uh, 140. Ooh, and it says it's full coverage. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, it's just a tiny little sample. But... Yeah, we'll see. Full coverage, huh? Okay. But it says tint. Maybe that just means foundation. <laughs> oh, I sound dumb. Okay. I can't open anything now because I have that oil on my hands. Okay. So I have a little tiny NARS sample that I like, and then I have this little tiny sample, and I really... Uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday they put up the new Vanish foundation from Hourglass that I'm like dying to try but I'm like I just bought something from Sephora I can't justify another order even if it's only a $25 right now plus I can't be bringing in a bunch of stuff into the house when we're trying to move so ooh blending out like a dream has a bit of scent to it as most long comb things do. If you've ever used long comb makeup, like their liquid makeup, you know the smell. And if you haven't, just kind of smells like a makeup counter. <laughs> Pretty sure they just spray a perfume version of the long comb of long comb foundations in the air. Uh, do we think it was found? Do we think it was full coverage, though? Um, no. No. I can still see some darkness coming through. Still see a little redness right here. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Put another layer on. Because, you know, full coverage and dark eyes goes completely against what I was talking about in my makeup I feel confident in. <laughs> completely against it. Complete opposite. But if it says full coverage, I want to know, is it legit full coverage? Also, I can only get like one more use out of this. But I like, I like that because then I know whether or not I want to try it. I'll leave it on my skin. See if it, see if it breaks me out, you know, see how long it wears. Um, I can still, I can still see some darkness, dark spots, covered up the redness a little bit more on that second coat. And the color match is really good. Okay. 
I love the way it feels. I'm going to look it up and see if they're really... The only reason why I'm saying that it's full coverage is because... If you notice, there's like little dots. I don't know if you can see that. Right there it says coverage and then it has like little dots. This is making me think that it's supposed to be full coverage. Because, you know, I bought it. Or, I didn't buy it. I got a sample of it. And I, I was just like, ooh, Lancome Foundation. I'll take it. As we do when we shop on Sephora. And if you don't, you're lying. And then the other thing that I got that I was like really excited about because I want to try this so bad, but I have so many concealers right now that <laughs> and I just can't justify it. It is the Jouet, Jouet, Jouet concealer. It's just a little sample card, but I really want to try this. I like really want to try this. I'm going to use wheat. I've heard that this is like an excellent under eye concealer. Ooh, no. We're gonna try this without my brightener for Maybelline. Just so again, I can see what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and use it just from this little card. <laughs> if I love it, I'm screwed. I'm gonna have to use a few more of my, I'm gonna have to use a few more of my concealers before I can justify buying anything. Taking it on my finger and just dotting it under my eyes. Get that right there. Okay. And here we go. Okay, so this side has the concealer. This side doesn't. Definitely brightened it up. Definitely brightened it up. Okay. I'm going to go in with the other eye because nobody goes out with unconcealed eye when I'm concealed eye. That'd be crazy. I'm trying to preserve it like that's going to work. Just put it back down like I want another use out of it. it I like it it definitely I mean I still again I don't know if you can see it but I can still see just a tad bit of darkness but it's no worse for the wear than any other concealer I have if I find one that can make it completely disappear that those dark circles that'll be my forever concealer my soulmate the love of my life keep posted on So then, of course, as always, I'm just going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury. This isn't new. And just set my eyes. Set my under eye. Okay, so now that we got the concealer down, um, I'm going to go ahead and do under the eye. So what I want to do is I want to take the green, olive green shade down here. And I want to put that under the eye. But first, I'm going to go back in with this light brown and do that first. So I'm going to go in first with that color. <clears throat> so I find that the olive green color looks really good wet. Like if you wet your brush when you're using it and put it all over the lid, it looks really good. Uh, I'm not going to do that, though, for the under eye. I'm just going to go ahead and pop it on the way it is. I'm going to pop it on dry. Okay, there we go. I really like this eyeshadow palette. I really do. It's really nice. Like I said, I'll give you my final verdict in about a month or six weeks. Then in the interest of using all the colors in this, I'm going to go in this one. And this one I know for sure is called Bellatrix. Um, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And in the interest of using all the colors and I'm going to put it in my inner corner. This 
Okay, so there we go. It didn't really brighten it up a whole bunch. I really wish that they had a brighter color for that, but that's okay. It's all right. So this is the finished eye look before mascara. So I don't have a new mascara, but I do have the new roller liner uh, for Benefit. So I'm going to go ahead and use that on the upper lash line. Okay, I kind of messed up a little bit on the inner corner here, but that's okay. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and do something crazy. I picked up some false lashes. That's right, people. It was buy two, get one free at Ulta, so I got a couple of pair of lashes at Ulta. So I got two of the natural kind. So this is 117. And then I got the Demi Wispies in 120. And then I got the Studio Effects in 110. So I got those three. And then at TJ Maxx, I picked up these Andrea lashes. They're strip lashes. Ooh, I didn't notice the band's kind of thick, but uh, they're 115 and they look like this. So I wanted a little bit more of a natural one than the wispies that I have already. Um, so I think today I'm gonna use these. So yeah, why not? Give it kind of a thick lash. I don't have a new mascara, um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, and I also got, while I was there, I also got some Duo Lash Glue. And I got the kind with, like, the applicator that's a wand, because I, I understand that's easier. So Duo... With the wand. So... This is going to take 900 years. I have no doubt. So I'm going to turn off the camera. I am going to put on mascara and my lashes. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I didn't have anything new for my face to use. So I just went in with that Becca Chloe Malika palette that I'm really enjoying. Um, but I did remember that I had a new pencil to use for my waterline. I don't remember if I used, no, I didn't. Um, a new pencil to use in my waterline, which is the Sephora Contour Art, uh, Eye Pencil 24 Hour Wear, and it's in the color Tiramisu. It's just a brown. I put that in my waterline. And then I put some Climax Mascara by Mar Nars, Mars, <laughs> Nars, on my lower lash line. And then I went in with one of my Fenty Bombs, the original, um, Fenty Glow, I think it's called, is like the more nude color. I went in with that. Um, but this is the opposite of what I said in my confidence video. <laughs> it is certainly not light. <laughs> oh, I also took the highlighter from the Becca palette, by the way, and I put that in, in the corner of my eyes. But this is the opposite of what I said in my I Feel Confident makeup, <laughs> where it's soft on the eyes and defined. This is quite dark and dramatic. Um, I'm not used to lashes yet. Uh, this is, they're nice, don't get me wrong. I think they definitely bring definition to the eyes and they like really like add to this kind of look, but not used to them yet. You can't see her, but Miss Frey is behind you trying to be a, I don't know what she's doing. She's trying to take out my mirror. That's what she's doing. So I'm not really used to the the eyelashes yet. I'll get used to them. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I went in with the Demi Wispies. I tried originally to go in with... I originally was trying to go in with these. I don't know what it was about them. It just it wasn't working for me. So I, I put the Demi Wispies on instead. These are in 120. So I went ahead and put the 120 Demi Wispies on. So this is what it looks like. A little dark and dramatic. Hmm. It's okay. Whatever. Um, 
So yeah, these are my products that I got recently. I'm definitely going to continue using the rosehip oil. Just over here. The rosehip oil. Um, I like the way it feels. I like the way it smells as long as it doesn't break me out. I'll continue to use it and see if it helps with my hyperpigmentation. Um, my hyperpigmentation. Or I don't think it's supposed to help with that. I think it's more supposed to help fade the acne scars that I have. So I'll keep you posted on that. <clears throat> like I said, I did enjoy the eyeshadow palette. I've used it a few times now. Other than that blue shade, that blue duochrome shade, I'm impressed with the other four. They're really good. I like this one. Again, I'll continue to use it, give you an update in my update video that I'll film later. Um, there are other new things. I'll see how this foundation works out for me and if I want to buy a full size. Yeah, I'll... I'll see how many uses I get out of this. I'll probably get like one or maybe two more. See if it breaks me out. See if I want to buy a full size. It'll be a while because I do have a million and a half foundations. Hi, Loki. And he's back. Um, the Jouer. I think that's how it's pronounced. The Jouer. Concealer, I'll see how that wears. So far, I like it. Again, I have so many con uh, concealers that I'll have to see. If I like it, I might be able to get one more. I may be able to use this creme brulee color as well. It might be a little dark on me, but we'll see. And then I'll decide whether or not that'll be the next concealer that I try. Um, the lashes, like I said, I'll get used to them. Eh. Um, I feel like there was more. I always love the Shiseido cotton. That's not even a question. I feel like there was something else that I've used today. I already love the eyeliner. Yeah, so everything that I use today, I will get back to you on in about a month to six weeks um, and let you know, give you an update video and let you know how I felt about all those products. Otherwise, Loki and I are going to be signing off. <laughs> We hope that you have a wonderful day, that you click that subscribe button, that you click that like button, share this video. I'm trying to build up my channel here. If you could share my video, that would be awesome. Thanks for watching and you have a wonderful day. Bye. You, Loki says bye too. Mm -hmm.